compare today with last week. Yes. Um, if you look at the intensity, the pressing, I think we, we played really well as a team. Um, we faced an opponent what was physically uh, in a good shape. They, they were well organized as well, defensively. Um, but we managed to, to make our own tempo and create chances. I think the only difference with last week is that the conversion rate was lower than last week. Uh, but then we have set pieces uh, where we scored twice and I'm happy with that because that's the first time I think we scored on set pieces or it's been a long time that we scored on set pieces. So it's another uh, point we worked on and it's good to see it in the game that you can score on, on such moments to, to open the game. Um, the first half we were playing inside because they were closing the center. Second half we changed a bit to, to the outside on one on one on the wings. So I think uh, during 90 minutes or at least 75 minutes we had everything in our hands. The last 15 minutes spaces became a little bit bigger and they could counter attack us a bit more. But uh, in general very happy with the performance of the guys, with the work ethic of the guys, the pressing they put in, uh, technical abilities. I can demand more at this moment, uh, but there are two things. That's one, next week we go away. And then I would like to see the same performance, uh, although technically we will not be able to play the same game, but at least the work ethic and, and the energy they put in the game uh, should be as high as today and last week. And secondly, yes, we have a lot of strikers and they all score. So uh, that's, that's nice for a coach to have the choice. Um, and if you see the last goal, uh, Morrison comes one on one, but he gives it to the side uh, for another teammate. That shows our team spirit at this moment, that uh, we are not individuals, but uh, we are creating a team. And that's what we need for a full season and to go into Champions League. Uh, only about him, I think we're all growing. Uh, Pre-season was short, uh, especially for him. In the end of last season, he didn't play a lot of games. Um, so we're, we're bringing him and yes, there's competition for everyone, especially in the, in the uh, offensive part of the team. So everyone has to do his job. But he becomes better and better. Uh, I see him sometimes defending. I see him sprinting back. So yes, we're working on that. And that's what I say, we're creating a team where everyone is doing what he has to do. If he does his defensive task, everyone can do offensively what he wants. Uh, uh, but within the principles we try to play, uh, it's not that offensively I give all them freedom. Uh, you see them moving, yes, but they're moving in a kind of way that we train. So they're not free, totally free, but they have some freedom in their choices to come in or out of the ball. And as long as he does his defensive work, I can accept that he lose a ball or that the crosses go wrong or that the last pass goes wrong. I think we cannot demand that every ball is good. So, yes, I'm happy with everyone at this moment. We have uh, 10. Uh, Rasto who is training well. Uh, Gadiel is training well. Uh, today Ajibu was on the bench. Dilonga was out. Uh, everyone is doing well. And unfortunately, we only have 18 spots on the paper and 11 in the basic 11. So uh, I made choices. Sometimes they're unhappy, but it lasts one day and then they're back in, in the mindset to train again. So that's keep it that way. Try to explain me why. From me? If, if I don't like it, I will tell it. Huh? But uh, if you defend, you can make fouls. Sometimes an, a striker has not the feeling to defend and sometimes they go into a duel uh, less, less coordinated than a defender. Yeah, sometimes they take yellow cards. What can I do? Leave your man? Let him run? No. They have to defend. So if they take a yellow card, we have to accept. Go and watch the Simba Zam game. Go and watch the Simba Yanga game even. It's not the first time he kicks. But yes, he has a good shot, and you have to use the qualities you have in your squad. We have many specialists. Even the first, the first half, there was a good free kick of Lewis. The goalkeeper saves it in the top corner. So, yes, we have a lot of qualities, and sometimes the choice is on the distance of the goal, 
uh, the position to the goal that decides who's going to take it. That's my job in the first, uh, in the first time. Uh, I do a lot of jobs here, so I can take that one as well. Of course, if you have more people on your bench, you can start doing this. But uh, uh, until now, it's not necessary because everyone is with the team. Uh, that's the phase two in your, in your, in your season. Uh, first is everyone starts to get uh, to know each other. Then you go into phase two, that's where competition starts and everyone is settling in for his position, basic 11, bench or uh, stands. Uh, so let's see how long we can stay in phase two because that's uh, a steady state phase where I would like to stay the whole season. And if someone goes out of the, the lines, then it's first my job to bring them back into discipline. Thank you. And the same as Morrison, he also had some difficulties last season. He didn't play too many games from, uh, from January till the end of the season. So give everyone time to settle in. I think you can see, and you, you, you gave the answer in your question, he's getting better. So everyone is getting better. And they will fight for their positions. Thank you.